Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are fit and fine. So today I have received this HP Elite Book 840 G3 laptop motherboard and this laptop problem is it's not charged the battery. So now I will try to fix this motherboard. So let's try to fix it. <laughs> so this is the motherboard part number 6050827 mb So let me show you the condition condition of this motherboard so i connect the battery and plugged in and let's check this is a battery charging coil here so as you can see it's showing 11.42 so let's check with my oscilloscope let's connect this ground and that's here so look at my oscilloscope uh, screen as you can see it's showing a straight line both sides there is no variation no frequency or no oscillation as you can see it's showing only a straight line so let me check let me measure some required voltage so I set already set my multimeter in DC mode. Let's plug in again and at first I will check this DC in voltage here. We have 19 volt get 24 as you can see it's perfect and let's check this current sense register here here also 19 volt present. So next I will check clock and data line in this battery connector so as you can see here we have two diodes so this two line is clock and data so first I check here we have 3.3 uh, volt present next as you can see it's not 3.3 it's only 1.4 volt so this line may be problem so I'm going to check this diode first. So I set my multimeter in diode range. Let's check this diode. So I have uh, 0 0.355. It's reverse. Here also same value almost. So first I'm going to remove this diode. Let's put some plugs on it. I hope after change this diode our problem will be solved it's very tiny diode without, without microscope really it's so difficult to check this kind of parts Six, eight, five. As you can see, they are the same. So these diodes fully short. So I'm going to replace it from my donor board. I have already lots of donor board because uh, without donor board, it's too difficult. This motherboard because all the parts not available all the time so you must have lots of donor board if you want to repair laptop yeah. lots of laptop repair thank you my donor board for donate this little diode okay we have replaced let's measure the tank paint 
Okay, it's done. Steam these tracks. Okay, that should look nice. It's already cooled down. Let's set my multimeter in this mode again. And plug it in again. Check this line. So as you can see, we have the 3.2 now. Before it was 1.5 or 4 something. Now it's 3.3. Let's connect the battery again. Plugged in. And let's check this voltage. We have now 11.57. And uh, look also my power supply is taking more than without pressing power button it's taking 1.2 1.4 okay it's done let's check with my oscilloscope okay as you can see now we have some frequency or oscillation whatever it's done so after change this little this tiny diode now it's charged the battery so it's done so thanks everyone for watching this video if you like this video so please hit the subscribe button press the bell icon if you already subscribe my channel thank you so much see you in the next video until then stay well bye bye